Good to go. Thank you. All right, so welcome everyone. Today, um, Alice and, and I, I'm Jessica, are gonna be teaching you how to make an Easter relief canvas. And this is a really cool project that is full of layers. Excuse me for one second, sorry, apologies. Okay, apologies, having some technical difficulties. All right, should be back and ready to go. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna be making our uh, release canvas, uh, relief canvas today. And this is all about working with layers. So we're gonna use um, paper, we're gonna use paint, we're gonna use tape, and we're gonna use a canvas. So the things you need to make this project today are a canvas, any size will do. We today are using, um, this one's kind of a, a 10 by 10 shape but they come in all shapes and sizes. The one Alice and I are gonna be working on today just so it's easy for everyone to see. It's a really, really big one. Um, so ours, ours may be kind of have, have more space around it, but I wanted to make sure everyone could see what we were doing today. Um, you're gonna to need scotch tape. Um, glue painters tape also works well, but scotch tape, I did a little practice before um, with our project and I actually found that the scotch tape worked the best. Um, so, it, but either will do. You'll need acrylic paint. So we've got some great acrylic paints from Createology. These are, um, this is a great primary color set, but you can really use any acrylic paint you want. And I did try it. So if you don't have acrylic paint on hand, but you have watercolor, I did try it um, with some watercolor paints earlier today as well. And it works just fine, just as well with watercolor. So whatever kind of paint you've got, get it ready, start picking out your colors. You're gonna need lots of color for this one. So you get to make lots of colorful choices today. And you're, you're also gonna need, of course, a paintbrush to do your painting. And you'll want, if you don't have multiple paint brushes, you'll want some water and paper towels so that you can clean off your brush in between the colors we're gonna use. You'll want a paint palette or a piece of parchment paper or a paper plate, something you can put your paint on. And um, you'll need some scissors. So grown up scissors for the adults, <clears throat> kid scissors for the kids. Um, if you're using adult scissors, just make sure your the adult helps you cut out your shape. And we're also going to need um, an egg shape. So with the instructions on michaels.com, you could print this out or just grab a piece of paper and cut out kind of an oval shape that will make up your egg. So either one is perfectly fine. And so if you're working with a different size canvas and this egg is too big, you can absolutely take a piece of paper and cut a smaller egg if you want to, or a smaller shape. You don't even have to do an egg if you don't want to. The other cool thing we're gonna do today, and this is an, a, kind of a little extra, you don't have to do this, um, but if you want to, I'm also gonna show you how you can make kind of neat designs on your egg as well. So Alice is showing you some, um, thank you. <laughs> Alice is showing you, we've got some foam stickers or you could take a foam, uh, sticky back foam sheet and you could cut out a shape if you wanted to make a shape of your own or you don't have to use a shape at all and you can just do the egg part. So either way, we'll show you how to do the shape but if you don't have that ready or don't wanna do it, you don't have to, okay? So you ready to get started? Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. And if you don't have the materials handy, that's okay. Watch along, watch how we do this, or we'll post this video tomorrow on michaels.com. And you can always come back when you've got the materials pulled together and uh, do it then if you need to follow along again. But today you should just get some great ideas at least if nothing else, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do, and I'm gonna put a few things aside. Um, so we are going to do work with the shapes today. So that's actually the first step we're going to take today. Again, if you don't want to do that step, that's fine. Um, I'm going to use, Alice is using some foam leaf shapes, and I'm just going to use a simple um, flower like I did on my example. So it doesn't really matter the color you, you use. Um, you could also probably use just some regular old paper for this piece too, if you want to cut out some shapes from a piece of paper and, and tape it down. Um, but you will need to be careful about where you're putting the tape because that will resist the paint. So um, I'm actually, I'll use a color flower so it's easier for everybody to see. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna, this is sticky back foam. 
And I'm going to think about where my egg is going to go on the paper. I want my flower to be in the center, kind of a little toward the top of my egg, center top of my egg. So I'm going to. Can I my? Yeah, go for it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get all the paper off of mine. And then I'm going to think about where's my egg going to go, right? So my, I'm going to put my egg here in the middle. So I'm going to put my flower right about here. That should be, it doesn't have to be perfect. But what's going to happen is I'm going to paint over this and later I'm going to take the flower off. So it will, will reveal a design just like this one, okay? And again, you don't have to use flowers. You don't have to have foam. Um, you can absolutely um, just use paper or create your own design. Mom, and yes. Can you help me like put it kind of in the middle? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to help push, Alice. Push, put one and then I'll do the outline. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Um, why don't I start it there? Okay, thank okay. you. So we've got Alice started. She's got some leaves she's going to do in the middle of hers. Next, we're going to, you're going to take your tape. Okay. And I've got mine on a, on a handy dandy tape roll here. And you want to think of it, you, you, you're going to need long strips of tape. Sure. Uh, is there anything, is everyone um, following along? Any questions before we move on to the next step about what we're doing? So we've had some people asking if they have to do an egg, if they can do different shapes and different designs. Absolutely. So um, if you don't have foam the foam flowers, that's okay. This is just kind of an extra little trick to the project. I wanted to show you a little something extra. If you don't have foam to do this with, that's okay too. You can use paper and just make sure it's it's uh, secure down on your um, canvas. We uh, if if you don't want to do an egg and like we said, there's um, you can print out an egg shape from the project instructions. But if you don't want to do an egg, that's okay. You could make a dinosaur. Um, you just kind of have to trace out trace out your shape and then cut it out of a piece of paper and we'll tape it down in a little bit. Or what you can do? Can I see that? Sure. Mom was holding it upside down and it gave me an inspiration of a human face. It does look like a face shape when you turn an egg upside down. Hmm. And they want to know if they can paint on paper instead of canvas. Yeah, so that is a great question. We are using canvas today. This is actually just a really thin canvas panel. Um, regular canvas would work as well. But when I was kind of playing around with this um, technique earlier today, I did try um, I, I really used, I tried watercolor. I didn't try acrylic on paper, but it should work on paper as well. If you just, if you don't use a lot of acrylic paint, you should be able to do this on paper. You just need to be a little careful about picking up the tape because of, on paper it will, it's more likely to rip than it is on canvas. So a little trickier maybe with paper, but absolutely doable. Okay. And um, one person asked, are we doing this on the paper or the canvas? Yes, so this is a flat, the, the, the main canvas we're using today is a flat canvas. It's called a canvas panel, um, but you can do it on a thicker canvas. Like I said, you can try it on paper. Just be careful when you're pulling up your tape because the paper might rip a little bit. So lots of ways to do this um, and, and always, um, it, it, this is kind of a fun one to experiment with. Okay. So we've got our first shape down. The next thing we're gonna do is Yay. we're gonna take tape. We're gonna start taping off our canvas. So you wanna think about how big your canvas is and you're probably gonna need pretty big strips of tape. Again, uh, we're using scotch tape today and I'm just gonna lay this down. You can lay it down in all kinds of designs across your canvas. And you do wanna kind of press it into your canvas so that um, you, you wanna, get it tight enough where paint is not gonna get under the tape when you're painting over it so that you have nice clean lines. Um, Cause what it's, the effect it's gonna get once we pull the tape off is you get these nice kind of white lines that you see here. Um, so that's what we're gonna get when we pull our tape up, but that's a couple steps away. So take, take as many strips of tape as you want and just start taping in whatever design you want across your canvas. Just remember that wherever you tape, the paint is not going to be. We're going to pull up that tape and it's going to leave a white space there. Okay? Mom, can you rip this off? Okay. Oh, good job. All right, so we're going to start taping off our canvas. That's really big. Yep. So just put it on. A, if you got a maybe a too big piece, which is, that's okay. Um, you can, here, let me get the scissors for you, Alice, actually. 
can do it with my baby scissors. Yeah, you can do it with the baby scissors. Okay, so I'm just getting my stuff taped here. I know, he's, he's gonna have to work. All right. All right. Oh, that's a good idea. So Alice, I'm just taping across my canvas in whatever design I, I want. It's a little hard to see because it's it's clear on white right now. It'll it'll be cool in a few minutes when we start adding paint. Okay. So they want to know if they're using their egg template yet. Not using the egg, egg template yet. We'll get to that in a minute. First, we're actually going to paint. Um, and I did experiment with this earlier today a little bit too. I actually did a couple different versions of the project just to see how it would look if I put different layers on at different times. For this one, I actually, the first thing I did was I put my design down um, for my little flower. I did my tape. I actually painted all the, um, all the open spaces on the canvas. And then um, I pulled up my tape before it was dry so that I could get nice clean lines. And then I set it aside while I cut out my egg. And then we go back and put the egg on and paint around the egg. So uh, the egg piece or whatever your big design piece is gonna come in a little bit. First, we're gonna paint our canvas, okay? All right, keep working on that tape. Looks like Alice has got a big one there. That's a nice one, all right. Okay. All right, we're gonna keep working here. You make as many, oops, as many um, places on your paint as you want to. All right, or on your canvas as you want to. Or paper three. While we're doing this, because this is kind of a, um, Easter easy thing. part of easy part of our project. Can somebody tell me in the chat what your what traditions your family does for uh, for to celebrate Easter and the the Easter holiday? Alice, what are some of the traditions our family has? <clears throat> we go to our grandma's house. We do go to our grandma's house, and what do we do at it? Hmm. Bye. What do we do at grandma's house? Uh, um. Do we on we go to the country club. Mm -hmm. We eat food, and sometimes when we me and Charlie are lit or little, we would go like in this ribbon racing ring, and um, Easter egg, Easter egg racing <laughs> ring, and um, we would get eggs with prizes and stuff. I once got this the gold. Yeah, the once gold I was the lucky baby. <laughs> So what else? Ooh, I can see in, in the comments, we've got people do Easter egg hunts. Those are so much fun. We, we boil and dye Easter eggs. I love that. We make- um, Last year, mom and dad gave eggs. We go to church and talk about why we celebrate Easter. That's, that's a really important part of Easter as well. Um, I love it. Make chocolate nests with the egg inside. Oh my goodness. I wanna go to your house. Chocolate's my favorite. Okay, so I'm gonna just quickly review for everybody. We're, we should be, you should be pretty close to kind of taping off your canvas. So just to recap what we've done so far, we took our canvas panel. Again, you can use regular canvas. You can try this with paper. It'll just be a little trickier when you're pulling up your, your tape because the paper might rip, okay? We added a special extra little thing to our uh, canvas. You don't have to do this. It's entirely up to you. Um, but we wanted to get kind of a, a neat extra design in our project. So we used foam to, we actually had some pre-cut foam pieces, or you can just take foam sheets and make your own. You could also try using um, just paper and making sure it's secure on the bottom if you want to try a shape within a shape, but you absolutely do not have to do that. Then we took our tape and we're taping off our canvas in all different shapes. So we're gonna get kind of a neat stained glass effect when we start painting here in a minute. All right, are we ready? Is everyone kind of good on taping off? Is everybody happy with, with your taped off canvas? See. And you wanna make sure is go over your tape, kind of make sure it's, you don't have too many air bubbles or anything like that. And you wanna make sure it's as tight to the canvas as possible because you don't want paint to get underneath. You want it to be a nice clean um, white line underneath uh, as much as possible when we pull yeah. it up later. Okay, so next step, um, let's 
And this, this part will take a while. So even if you're still taping off your canvas, don't worry. This next, this next step um, takes a few minutes. So the next thing you're gonna do is actually pick out your paint colors, okay? And we're using acrylic paint today. Um, that's what we got for this canvas. But like I said earlier, I did try using watercolors earlier today and it worked really well with watercolors too. So same technique, same everything, just a different kind of paint, okay? The one thing I will say is that um, when I did watercolor on tape, the tape got, uh, the, the watercolor was really wet on the tape, so I had to pat it down before I pulled it up. Um, so just a watch out when we get to that step if you're using watercolors. Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. Even if you're not finished, that's okay. Continue taping off. I'm, we're, Alice and I are gonna move on to the next step. Like I said, the next step takes a while, so we will have plenty of time to go over and recap if everyone needs that, okay? So our next step, once you've got your, your canvas uh, taped off, go ahead and pick out the colors of paint you're, you wanna use. So I've got, we've got some nice primary colors here. Again, this is washable acrylic paint from uh, Creatology. And we've also got some other pastels that were just in our in our paint box here at home. So we're using that. So I'm just going to squeeze out. I used probably as many as five or six colors for this. Um, you, the one thing I will tell you is the, the last step is actually painting over your existing paint with a lighter color. So save one lighter color paint to be the, this kind of wash on the top. Okay, because you want it to be light enough where you can still see through to the design underneath. That's the only caution I will give you as you are picking out paint. So pick out five or six different paints. I'm going to make mine nice and kind of pastel y for Easter. And we'll go from there. Um, they want to know if tempera paint is okay. Tempera paint should just it should be just fine, actually. Yeah, I don't see anything. Um, I don't see anything wrong with with using tempera paint. And they want to know how long it takes to dry, like in between layers, if they need um, to give it time that's to a, dry. Uh, that, hold on, that's a, oh, my paint broke. Um, I know what acrylic is. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes if you use a lot of acrylic, it can take two or, two or one hour. But if you don't use a lot and you just flat, like kind of put it on like easily, oh, like, it will only take like 10 or five minutes. Yeah. So Alice is exactly right. If we don't do it really thick on your canvas, it actually dries pretty quickly. I would say within a couple, a ma the matter of a couple minutes. Um, but you just wanna be careful that you're not putting too much paint on because um, that's where it'll take a long time to dry and, and you might have to come back and do some of the steps later. Excellent. Okay, so we're still getting our paint together. Remember, save one coat of a light color for the very last step. What can can everyone tell me what colors you're using? I would love to hear what what, what some of the colors people about some of the colors people are using. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me that turquoise? Excellent. We're picking some pastels, and I'm picking some darker colors too to be nice have nice contrast Ooh, red pink yellow and light green all of the rainbow love it Ooh, oh that would be a pretty one to do a rainbow colored one mm -hmm. i like that idea so okay. someone asked what if they don't have a lighter shade um uh, if you don't have a lighter shade maybe if you have a lightest shade and maybe uh like if you don't have a lighter shade you don't have to do the top shade, maybe, or you could um, maybe mix some colors to make a light shade. You could do that. Um, the other thing I would say is, and I'll show you this technique when we when we get to this step. But there's a way to almost it's called dry brush, where you use you really make sure your paint you don't have a lot of paint on your brush, so it can actually make a dark color a little lighter. Um, if we're not using too much paint and we've actually tapped off a lot, a good bit of the paint on our brush. So that's another option for you if you have, if you only have darker colors. So we've got a lot of neon people using a lot of neon colors and pinks and blues, yellows, some Fast. turquoise and mint. That is awesome. All right. So, okay. So now you're going to start painting and there, there, there is no wrong way to paint your canvas. 
when I did my example earlier, I kind of used color blocking. So I thought of like stained glass, right? And so each section I had um, taped off, I did a different color and I did a whole section within the tape, one color, and then I moved on to my next section and did another color and I worked around my canvas that way. But um, you could also just mix and match if you wanted to do within a section, like multiple colors and make it really multicolor all over your canvas. That's all right too. If you wanted to do rainbow stripes, my person out there using rainbow colors, you could do that. So there's no wrong way to paint this canvas. However you want to do it should be wonderful, I'm sure. The one thing I will tell you is if you are going to do the color blocking effect like I have here, um, I will re I recommend starting on the tape and moving over across to where you don't have tape. So you don't get kind of gloppy, um, gloppy strokes in, in the middle of your uh, canvas part. You kind of get that on the tape and you can pull it across the canvas part. So Wait, just a word, a tip. Because you're not getting it on the tape? No, absolutely. Paint, paint on the tape. That's not going to hurt anything. We're going to take the tape off here in a little bit. So, all right. Someone wants to know if there's a technique that gives kind of like a texture. Um, that's a great question. Alice, do you have any suggestions? If we need it, if they want to take a texture. Mm -hmm. What if there are any techniques that give texture? There are, you can, if you have a fan brush, it will make more of kind of like, a, like kind of more thin lines and it won't cover it. So much. using different brushes yeah. can give you different textural if you effects. If use a spun brush, it will make more um, like kind of ill, the sponge has like some print, not print, but like a sponge part on it. Cause you know how some sponge, how sponges soak up water. Mm -hmm. You might get that effect. Yeah. And you can also maybe like, if you want other effects, you could use like, um, like you could use acrylic paint and watercolor or something like That's that. That's true. You could use different paints on different parts. You could also, um, sometimes it's kind of neat to, um, paint and then use things to actually create patterns in your paint, right? So you might take a paper towel or one of those, uh, a foam spouncer or something before the paint's dry and kind of swirl it around um, or just practice with different kind of brush, stro brush strokes even. Like you could also okay. almost make some really kind of swirly designs with your paint as you're brushing in the, um, in the sections. I'm gonna answer a couple questions in the chat. Um, we're not going to put down the egg yet. And um, mom, when will we put down the egg? Because someone asked that. And okay. someone also said they missed the first 10 minutes. Okay, well, we can help answer both of those questions. So um, we're, we're not to the egg part yet. We actually, the first thing we do is actually, you're actually going to do is paint the canvas. And so I'll go back through the steps here in just one second. I'm going to finish this next section. And then I'll pause and go back for the people that um, may have joined us a little late and go back through while everybody's painting their sections. So let me just get this next piece of paint down. One thing I will tell you, I, I realized earlier today when I was practicing and um, uh, I'm only using, we've only got one big paintbrush here that we're using. So one thing I did realize is before you paint, paint multiple sections before you move on to another color, because that reduces the number of times you have to kind of wet your brush and clean your brush. Just saves you some time, not, not mandatory. Um, okay, so I'm gonna let my brush, I'm gonna actually clean my brush real quick, and then I'll walk back through the, the early steps of the project while everyone's working on putting those beautiful colors onto your canvas. So let me get my paintbrush here. I'm just wetting my paintbrush. Um, I love how when you when you uh, change colors, it gets your water all different colors, and it's a mystery what color the waters ends up being at the very oh, end. Oh yeah, one time I got brown. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who may have joined a little late, I'll walk you back through. Okay, we're making this relief Easter egg painting today. It's a really fun project that's all about layers. So you're gonna start with a canvas. We're using canvas panels today. I've actually got this smaller size I worked on earlier. Alice and I are working on a larger size now, just so it's a little easier for everyone to see. But you know, use, use whatever you have. Um, paper is, should be okay to use. It just might be a little harder when you're trying to pick up your tape. It might 
rip your paper a little bit. So you're gonna have to be really careful and um, if you're working on paper. If you do have watercolors and you're working on paint paper, you could you might want to use watercolors if you're working on paper and if you have watercolors. Yes, very good. Um, so basically, the the first step where you do when you're um, oh actually sorry. Um, we, we kind of put it added an extra little flare step to the project as a little tip or trick. If you want to try it, you don't have to if you don't have these items on hand. What you will need is a sticker, any sticker, but like if you have maybe a ladybug or something, if you put that on there, like you would have to, if you wanted the ladybug to be an actual ladybug or something like that, you would have to, um, actually paint the ladybug. ladybug yeah. So, so um, uh, we just added this element here. Uh, foam, we use pre-cut foam stickers. If you have uh, pre-cut sheets of foam, they work really well. You could also just try paper, but you wanna make sure that it's all the way adhered to your canvas so that paint doesn't get underneath because we are gonna paint over it and then take it off later to reveal this white part. The next thing we did was take regular old scotch tape um, and we, we sectioned off our canvas. So we just put strips. It's actually kind of easy to, I think it's, you can kind of see it in the, in the light there a bit. Um, but you can see, you just create sections of your canvas, which next you're gonna paint in with different colors. So you wanna have a number of different colors of paint on hand um, that will work really, really well. And you wanna try to reserve one lighter color of paint for the very last step, because once we've got our canvas painted, we're actually going to put it aside and we're going to cut out our egg design. So this design is available in the uh, project link on michaels.com. Or if you don't have this and didn't print this out, that's okay. You can just make an egg shape, which is basically a big oval shape on a piece of paper and cut it out. Um, or if you're working on a smaller canvas or a smaller piece of paper or even a bigger one, you can always just make it um, to whatever size you need it to be. And you are always allowed to do your own thing. So if you don't want to make an egg and you want to make a bunny or you want to make a dinosaur or an airplane, um, you can always just cut out whatever shape you need to cut out. So we'll, we'll put this on in a little bit and then we're going to use that last kind of lighter, lighter color of paint um, to paint around and over some of the other sections that we've already painted so you get this nice uh, really impactful shape in the middle. All right. Okay, how's painting coming along everyone? I'd like to know, are they covering the entire canvas right now? Yes, so you will cover your entire canvas um, and, and do paint over the tape, that's fine. Again, if you wanna do, um, uh, you can do this any number of ways. So you can do, I'm gonna kind of do color blocking on mine where I'm painting the sections that my tape created um, different colors, but you could easily just kind of, you could do a, circles of paint or strips of paint, however you want to do it. But yes, you're going to cut right now. You're going to cover your entire canvas and you're even going to paint over your your uh, if you did a shape, you'll paint over the, the top of that as well. OK. All right, we've got some people that are starting to wrap up, so I'm going to try to speed up here. Um, if you have have wrapped up, uh, you're ahead of me, which is not a bad thing. Then I, what I would ask you to do is you're going to actually start to peel your tape off and you're going to take all the tape off your project. When you're painting with tape, you always actually want to take the paint off while it is wet, because if you wait for the paint to dry at some time and then pull the tape off, it will sometimes take bits of paint off with it. And then you're left with kind of um, not clean lines. So very carefully, adults, if you are if you are nearby, I would highly recommend you help your kids with this because that tape is wet, probably with paint. So carefully lift the tape uh, off once you've got your en entire canvas covered uh, and set it aside in a place that um, is not going to get ruined um, by painted tape. All right. Sure. What um, is there? Are there any steps in particular that people need need help with? As I'm working on different uh, colors here. Someone asked, "Will you go back over it?" 
Happy I don't birthday. see any specific ones. Okay. Does anyone have any Easter jokes? Oh, any jokes about, we didn't bring any, we didn't prepare any jokes this time. Normally we try to have jokes ready. But I was also, didn't want to get been, my iPad. It's been a busy week. <laughs> I was supposed to have a mock stars, but then the teacher just changed it. What kind of, does, can anyone tell me what kind of stuff, if, you, if the Easter bunny visits you and the Easter, um, you know, the Easter bunny, yes, you paint over all the sections of your canvas. Um, what kind of things has the Easter bunny brought you? What was that, your favorite thing that the Easter bunny maybe brought you in your Easter basket one year? Oh, my favorite thing was probably, um, so when I was young, I begged my parents to buy me a uh, L doll because I never had one. I said, and this is way back. And then the Easter Bunny once brought me an L L doll. The next year I'm like, mom and dad, the Easter Bunny is definitely gonna give me one of those OMG dolls. And they're like, I don't think it's gonna bring me that. It didn't bring me it the next year, but it brought me another L L doll. Well, Easter Bunny can come through. Ooh, a pillow unicorn, jelly beans. You know what, one of my favorite- Getting a lot of candy. Yes. One of, my, one of the best things is like, when you have to dig down into the Easter grass of your Easter basket and find those jelly beans. <laughs> it's kind of gross, but kind of good. <laughs> An octopus stuffed animal. That's awesome. Was it a, was it a squishy mellow? Alice is obsessed with squishy mellows right now. <gasps> They're little cute turtles. Gum money. Ooh, that's a good one. I was, we always got a kite. Ooh, I love Something that. Something to do outside, my mom said. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was tired of us being inside the house. Finger pain. Uh. <laughs> I know Alice and Alice and her or her brother when you got a Nerf gun. So I think we were on the. Me and your mom were on the same page. There. Mm -hmm. I have passed that tradition down to my kids. They now get. Sometimes the Easter Bunny will bring them, outside things. Yes. Easter Bunny is wise. Frisbees and rollerblades <laughs> and. Awesome. Okay. I hope everyone's canvases are, I'm a little behind. I apologize, everybody. I will speed up here as we get me moving. Undo my tape? Yeah. Are you all ready? So Alice is in a good spot. So let me just finish this section and then I'll help her pull her tape up so you can, she can move on to the next piece. So once you have your tape pulled up, um, you should start cutting out your, your main design. Okay. So that's that. If you're using the egg, you'll want to take your paint or excuse me, your egg template and start cutting out that egg. That's going to be the next thing you do. Oh, Jen said fruit baskets are their thing. Ooh, I that like sounds that. sounds delicious. <laughs> Rather get a fruit basket than a candy yeah, basket. Fruit and granola baskets. <sighs> good. Or a brunch basket even. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. I love that. I found out that we had these. What about, hey, you know, I've got a good idea for Easter baskets. Art supplies. Oh. <laughs> oh. An art basket. Outdoor art supplies, like chalk. Ooh. You know, um, <laughs> we have uh, we have chalk. We have, um, Michael's has this product called uh, Goblies that are um, water. Let me think, let me say this correctly. They're, um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to like you can wash it out of your clothes it's paint you can wash out of your clothes you mean and you can paint? like yes washable paint thank you <laughs> and you can actually like you can throw them at other people because they wash out um or you can like put a canvas on the wall and um throw them at that and make a really cool art canvas um and they've got like you can do it where they you can use squirt guns and stuff with it it's really neat um a lot of fun to play with so, so we've got some some new gobly stuff coming in in april so today me and my winter okay. a kid, girl in my class thought of a special it's called jart mm. you're wondering no gart okay let's make sure this is appropriate yeah it's appropriate okay gart is gym and art oh gart i love it and all the kids are like, yeah. And then tomorrow we have Spanish. 
And then we just replaced it with GART. Nice. I like it. Let's com let's combo some extracurriculars. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do once you're done painting, and I've still got a little bit of way to go, but um, um, we're, you're actually going to start taking your tape off. So it's kind of a delicate process, again, because your paint is likely wet and connected to one another. So adults sort of probably definitely help with this step. And Alice, I might need your help as well, sweetie. Um, Yes, sweetie. I will try, okay. Yes, I do. You can see this process, this part is a little bit messy. So, um, whoops, hold on. Well, I need to get under the table. Can you hold this piece for me? Just hold that up. That's okay. Just hold it with the fingers. There you go. All right. That's okay. Alice just pressed down her tape, which is perfectly fine, but scotch tape works really well, so we've got to get it back up. You can just cut it off. Mm. Yeah, let me see if I can do this another way. Okay. All right. Careful. Oops. Got a little bit of duck. Duck. Dip a paint. That's okay. All right. Very delicate process here. A fun one. You get to see what you've done, and it's cool. You got one more, one more strip, Alice. Here, can you help me with? Okay. That. And I got this. this. This, no, don't worry. Okay. And then we've got, all right, Alice, oh, Alice almost has hers done. Okay, there we go. And off the last pieces come, and you can see she's got just some beautiful rhymes that she's made. So this is awesome. This is exactly the kind of thing. Oh, you kind of made a triangle, um, kind of like an A, actually. Or I'm doing it upside down. Um, A for Alice. Okay. Um. Okay, hold on. Um. Do you call it when you're done? Um, okay, hold on. We'll help with that in a second. Okay, so um, right now, next step, if you're if you've taken your paint off, so I'm going to go ahead and give Alice her Easter egg template. And she's going to start cutting this out with her scissors. Okay, so I'm. She's going to set this aside for the moment. Okay, I will worry about that later. Um, okay, can you set this up there? Yeah. Okay. Well, just sit, sit and cut them. I can. Okay. I'm gonna go wash this. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to finish my sections here. Does anyone need um, me to go over anything, or is everybody kind of moving on to pulling tape off? Someone else also asked, um, what if they use darker colors at the top? That's fine. You can use uh, darker colors wherever. I'll show you a way, um, you know, we're going to do that kind of lighter wash here in a minute. Uh, you can see even I'm using some darker colors too. So if you don't have a lighter color uh, later, we'll, we'll try to do kind of a more dry brush technique that allows you to get, um, let's see what color do I wanna do here? Um, that allows you to get uh, that kind of lighter over paint here in a moment. So not to worry. So we have some people asking when do they take the flower off? Is that later? Um, I, I took my flower off the very last thing. Um, you could probably take it off now, but since the paint is so wet, it's, it's a little harder to, to get off. Um, so I actually waited until the, that was the very last thing I did. And, um, there's a little bit of foam that, that stuck to the canvas, but once the paint dried, I was able to go back and kind of peel it off. So I would wait till the very last, but you could try it now. I'm not going to hurt you. All right. So Alice has her 
egg ready to go. So think about Alice, the paint color that you are gonna wanna use to do your kind of overwash, right? Okay. So think about another pink color. Oh, I was gonna use a. Uh, this is what I was gonna use. I was gonna use this. Okay. So come get it ready. How do I put it down? I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the counter. Okay. Can you go bring him over? Cause I'm gonna need him to close the thing up. Thanks. Okay, I finally, gosh, it took me long enough, didn't it? Um, have my canvas all painted. So I'm gonna let that just lightly dry for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and move ahead to cutting out my egg so I can show you guys um, that as a next step before I pull off my tape here. So again, grown ups, use the grown up scissors, kids, kid scissors, um, and just start cutting your egg or whatever your main shape is gonna be. And you're not gonna, we're not actually gonna tape this one down. You're just gonna kind of hold it down with your hands and, um, and paint around it. So uh, don't worry about, you're not gonna, you shouldn't need any more tape here. And once you've got your egg cut out, go pick that other color that you're gonna do your final wash with, right? Um, so that's the last going to be one of the last steps you take. All right, I've got my egg. I'm going to pull off my tape here. The pulling the tape part off is so satisfying. <laughs> I have to say, it's a really fun part of this process. But it's tricky. There we go. All right. Broke. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Does everybody got have your tape pulled off now? You could use white. For those of you who have moved on to that step, absolutely you can use white. Okay. So you should have your lovely, I did mine in color blocking, however you wanted to do yours. I'm sure it's beautiful. All those colors everyone shared they're using. Um, so next you're going to take that lighter color and actually I have not gotten my lighter color. So let me do that real quick. I think I'm going to use a light blue or a light purple. I use a light purple. Don't give me a different color. Okay. Absolutely. For those of you who need more time, um, I'm, I'll walk through these next steps for people that have moved ahead, but, but take your time. And if we're going too fast, um, I'm happy to go back through things before we wrap up today. And the project is available and this video will be available tomorrow on michaels.com. Um, so you can always go back if you missed a step or if you wanna try it again and um, check it out. Okay, so what do I do? Okay, so for this next piece, you for this last part of the project, you really don't want a heavy, heavy coat of paint on um, on your canvas. You actually want it to be kind of light, right? Mm -hmm. So, sure. Um, so that you can still see. So like in the, the one I did, or the practice one I did earlier, you see I kind of made a light cover uh, layer of paint so that you can still see the shapes and other colors underneath. Um, so that's, that's the look we're going for, right? And a great way to do that is actually if you take your egg, um, and so you're gonna you're gonna put your egg where I'm gonna kind of center mine on top of my canvas. Again, we're not yellow would be great if you're using yellow. If you're not, um, uh, we're not gonna tape this down. Okay, you're just gonna kind of gently put it on the paper, position it however you like. You could position it in a kind of a funny place and do a couple different ones of these where the egg is um, turning or 
maybe falling down through and you have a couple different canvases uh, just to make a nice triptych on your wall. Um, but we're just gonna gently set it down. So think about where you wanna position it. I've got my flower here. So I'm gonna do my egg just right, right kind of in the middle. Yeah. Making it so which way on Alice, which way on yours is up? Is this up or? Mm, this up. Where's the yellow? The yellow's up? Yeah. Yellow's the top? And do you want your, your flower in kind of the bigger middle? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So there you go. So we've got our, our eggs are down. And the great way to do this paint piece is, so you've got your, your lighter color or the color you're going to use. So you're going to dip your paintbrush in it. And then what, what I recommend is actually tapping it off to the side. So take your, so your paintbrush doesn't have too much paint on it at any point in time. And then start on the egg and move out. Now you wanna make sure that you don't have too many spots. So check your canvas first, that you don't have too many wet spots because you don't want your colors to blend too much and kind of carry a color. So if you have some really wet spots, yeah, you might wanna give them a second or two or wait to paint those sections of your canvas. I've got some that are more dry than others. So I'm gonna start working in, in that uh, area. So again, I take my paint, paint brush, put some paint on it. And I kind of tapped it off a little bit. So where I don't have like a too loaded of a paintbrush and then I'm gonna start on the paper and work out and just light brushes. And of course on the white part, it's gonna, um, it's gonna be a little darker, but you want it to try to try to get it and you don't, um, maybe don't complete your strokes necessarily. Just what kind of wanna um, give the other, the other paint kind of a washed over Feel. It doesn't have to be as complete as you might when you're just normally painting, right? You got kind of get like a brushed look over it, which is a lot of fun. Any questions? If you get too much paint in one space, that's okay. As, you're, as you get less paint on your brush, you can go back and just try to pull that paint off and over into other sections. Just even it out a little bit with different parts of your brush. And the, so they wanna know if they put the extra coat over the tape lines? Sorry. Yeah, absolutely, go over the tape lines. You're still gonna have some tape lines come off clean underneath your egg, so you'll still get to see those. And should they wait for their first coat to dry before they do this one? Yeah, I would definitely recommend, um, like, as I, as I said, parts of my um, canvas are a little more dry than others. So I'm starting with those sections. Um, if, you, if you've got really wet paint, I would wait a few more minutes till it dries more because you don't want this paint to really pull your, your bottom layer of paint over. Um, so I would be careful about that. Just try to make sure if you still see shiny spots on your canvas, you wanna kind of leave them alone for a little bit. Focus on other sections. And someone said, can we add water to our acrylic paint to make it lighter? Yeah, you, uh, you know what? I haven't uh, specifically tried that with this particular project, but it's worth a shot. You can absolutely kind of water down um, paint and get a lighter, um, a lighter look. So I would say maybe try a, a test, try it on a test piece of paper first before actually doing it on your canvas. But that, you that's did. something that you could absolutely try. I put it in a little bit of water and it just kind of, kind of worked. Good. And I'm trying to, I'm actually trying something a little different with this version than I did with my last. So my last one, I just kind of um, did strokes all over the place. This one I'm trying to paint out from my eggs. So maybe it kind of has this like explosion pattern a little bit when when we're all said and done and I pull it up. Let's see, that was a little wet, so I'm going to wait on that. Has anyone ever um, used uh, cascarones, uh, the confetti eggs? Oh, yeah. Those are so much fun. I used them when I got, we put them on my head when I got into my <laughs> new school. <laughs> We were celebrating Alice and we cracked some confetti eggs on her head. Those are a fun Easter tradition for us as well. 
they make a mess, so do them in the driveway. <laughs> it's outside. Yes. Uh, there's a theme here, outside. Yes, outside, outside <laughs> stuff. Yeah, well, it is usually Easter comes in spring when everybody's mm -hmm. outside, so it's kind of perfect timing. How's everybody doing? Is your, is, are you ready to pull up your egg? Is anyone ready to pull up their egg and do their reveal? So Christy is using glitter paint for their overlay color. And they said it's really sparkly. I love that idea. And that will give it a nice wash so you can see the underneath really well. That's a great idea. So we've got some people saying they're done. Some people right. are still painting. All right. So those of you, if you're done, um, you did just the next step is to just pull up your egg. If you did a shape in the middle, go ahead and pull that up too. Um, again, with the with the foam stickers, I have found that a little bit of foam sticks to uh, might stick to the canvas. Just wait till everything's completely dry um, before trying to pull go back and pull those little spots off. But but they come off pretty easily um, once all is said and done. And then and then you're done. Then you've got your beautiful Easter picture to display. And I would love to see your pictures if you will post them at, ha at um, on Instagram at hashtag Michael's. Um, oh I'm actually gosh. letting some of my colors mix. Um, make it hashtag make it with Michael's. Um, we would love to see your projects and what everybody did. So I'm running out of not enough paint. We're so close. So. Oh. What if they can't see their triangles underneath? Can't see your triangles underneath. Um, like maybe their maybe their top color isn't light enough, or their bottom color isn't dark enough. Dark enough. So um, what I would say is, um, when you pull up your egg, you should be able, and I'll show you what it's going to do here in a second. You oh, should be able to see some of those colors when you pull up your egg a little bit. <laughs> so you should still get that kind of. Um, um, impact in the center, even if you have a color that's too dark over here. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, just a second, sweetie. Um, but if you've gone too dark, then you might just have a beautiful egg in the center, and that's okay too. Um, these are uh, what I love, like I said, what I love about this project is that no one turns out the same. They're all different, and it's kind of because they're layers and because there are reveal parts. There's all these kind of exciting moments where you're like, what, how's it going to turn out? What's it going to look like? Um, so you, you constantly learn, I think, from this process of what works, what doesn't, and you can always try it again now that you know the technique. So Alice has got hers all done as well. She did a pretty light blue wash on hers. And I'm, we're going to go ahead and take off our, oh, um, oh, thank you. Yeah, you might just want to take a paper towel. If you've got too much paint around your um, sticker, you might just want to kind of dab some of that off with a paper towel or Al Alice is actually using a, a spouncer. Oh, okay. She's adding some additional details to her, her picture. No one says it can't. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to just pull off my flower here. Okay. There. In the middle and I'll do Alice's leaves here in a second. And then we're going to be all done. There we go. And like I said, I just have one or two little pieces of foam. So once the paint is dry, I'll go back and I'll take those off. But really cool project. I love, love, love doing this one. So much fun. Any final questions for us today? Um, Emerson said her mom is printing out her an E to use instead of an egg. I love that you could put your name on it. And did you, I will tell you, Emerson, um, when I was, when I had uh, Alice's brother, um, his, if he was, if he had been a girl, we were him Emerson because I love that name. And I know boy Emerson's and I know girl Emerson's and I just think that's a beautiful name, so. There was once. <laughs> but he turned out to be a Charlie. So. I, I was going to be named a Henry if I was a boy. That's right. And we figured out I wasn't. And my brother was like, but I wanted a Henry. <laughs> Very sad. She was not a boy. But we've moved on. So, <laughs> all right. 
My my daughter, she has a younger sister, and then she's she wanted a younger brother, and I was like, they're not collectibles. You don't get <laughs> no, one of each. Really. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it, even if you're still working on this, um, I'm happy to, I'll go over the final steps one more time before we wrap up, but we're getting close to time. So again, you, you start with your, your blank canvas. The first thing you're going to do is if you want that design in the middle, you'll put your um, foam sticker or paper down there. You're going to tape off your canvas. You're going to pick your four or five colors and kind of paint however you want, either color blocking in the spaces, or you can paint a rainbow. I know somebody did that. Um, then you're gonna, you're, you're, you'll, once you're done painting, you're gonna peel off that tape to reveal your stripes, and then you're gonna set it aside. Then you're gonna take that piece of um, paper and, oops, and cut out your shape. Um, we use an egg, but you could do any kind of shape. This is, that's, this is part of the fun of this project. And um, once your canvas is, the paint's mainly dry, you're gonna take that, uh, take that egg and set it in the middle, and then you're gonna paint around it with kind of a light color, so, or just don't paint so dark, so you can, you can see all the way through um, and still see the designs underneath. And you're gonna remove, oh, darn it. Um, you're gonna remove that egg um, and remove your sticker, and you are good to go. So, lots of fun, and you can always find this project uh, later on michaels.com, the, um, the link is in the chat, so. And we have had an absolutely I'm, fabulous yeah, time today. I love this project and we loved getting to spend time with you all. I hope you all have a wonderful Easter this year. Thank you. Bye.